Hey everybody, it's Brian Tro coming to you from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing. Today is Monday, December 14th, and I've got your fly fishing forecast for you. So we had some pretty hard rains this morning. I uh, woke up to it. It was coming down, got over an inch in parts of the valley. Um, and then snow mixed in. If you look at the Allegheny front here to the west of the shop, uh, everything above about 3,000 feet is covered in snow. So if you're heading up into West Virginia uh, today or tomorrow to fish, you'll you'll uh, need to be prepared for snow. And speaking of snow, we've got uh, our first big winter storm watch for the year. Um, looks like starting Wednesday morning and lasting through Wednesday night. Uh, they're calling for anywhere from six, seven, eight, maybe uh, up to 10 or 12 inches of snow here for parts of the Shenandoah Valley. Certainly those totals will probably go up as you go up in the mountains. So. So anyway, if you're heading out uh, in the next week to fish, you've got a bunch of conditions that you gotta consider. Uh, one would be all the rain from this morning. Uh, certain streams are gonna be up and pretty high. Um, and then of course, you're gonna have to deal with the snow uh, later in the week. And with us being really close to the solstice and the sun not being very high and not being very strong, and with cold temperatures forecast for um, the second half of the week, the snow is not gonna go anywhere very quickly. Um, so you can always call a shop here for some forecasts. We'll have up-to-date conditions on the streams close to town first um, and maybe some road conditions and whatnot for you as well. Uh, popular spots are always places like Mossy uh, just because um, you know you don't have to drive high up in the mountains, you don't have to do a lot of hiking um, and those types of things. So, um, And the, the waters are just going to be warmer. So focus on your spring creeks this week um, if you have a chance to get out. Um, I don't get to do it often, but usually a couple times a year I get to strap my snowshoes on and uh, walk the banks of mossy and the snow and, and uh, do some fishing. It can be uh, a lot of fun getting out there, um, but certainly gear up. You know, you can always dress as warm as you can dress, but fingertips are always a little bit tough. So I always fish places uh, this time of year that are pretty close to my truck. I don't, I don't hike miles back into Shenandoah or places like that this time of year. Um, it's just nice to be fairly close to a vehicle where you can warm your fingers up and grab some coffee and get back at it. So uh, pick your battles. Uh, nymph fishing is going to be the most important technique um, for the week. Uh, getting down deep, fishing slow, like we've talked about before, gridding out the water, finding the deeper pools, finding the, the, um, the habitat where it's just a little bit more protected and the fish don't have to work as hard to, to hold in the water column. Um, fishing larger, heavier nymphs with the water being up is, is key. Um, so give the shop a call. Uh, we've been really busy here with uh, Christmas shoppers and online sales and things like that. Um, so if you've got some ideas or, or need some ideas for a friend or family for this uh, holiday season, give us a call. We're here busy and working. Um, don't forget things like Stanley's Ice Off Paste. That stuff is awesome. Uh, you just rub a little bit into your guides before you get fishing. And instead of having to stop every 10 minutes and bust ice out of your guides, um, you can fish for 45 minutes or an hour before you have to break ice off your guide. So there's lots of little things, you know, fly fishing is a sport of gadgets. There's lots of things that can help make your winter fishing uh, easier and more comfortable and more fun. So try and get out there if you can. Uh, don't let the snow slow you down. Uh, find a place uh, with some moderate temperatures, some spring fed water and fish low and fish slow. Give us a call if you have any questions about uh, where to go or conditions. Um, and, uh, you know, as far as the uh, other fisheries go, the uh, high mountain trout streams, I would say stay away. Um, some of the, uh, the larger rivers like the Shenandoah and the James, they're going to be pretty rough this week. Uh, the water levels are already really big and going up. Um, so uh, probably going to be unfishable for fish like muskie over the next few days. Um, so watch those gauges. Hopefully they'll come down. Um, and uh, get out there and enjoy a little fishing before, before the holiday. All right, that's about it. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.